The first contributors to the genetic makeup of modern Spaniards were the Western hunter-gatherers. DNA data from the Mesolithic period show groups of humans who, while distinct from any modern population, are most closely related to Northeastern Europeans. Today's average Spaniard has about 13% of their ancient ancestry from these Western hunter-gatherers. Around 8,000 years ago, the genetic landscape of the Iberian Peninsula underwent a radical change. New migrants originating from Anatolia and having learned agricultural skills from neighboring Near Eastern communities embarked on an extensive migration across Europe. They eventually settled in Iberia, forming the region's first agricultural communities. DNA analysis from the early Neolithic period reveals a genetic profile vastly different from the original Western hunter-gatherer inhabitants. These early European farmers resembled modern-day Sardinians, who have remained largely unchanged due to their isolation. More than half of the ancient ancestry of the average Spaniard today comes from these early European farmers. The genetic profile of ancient Iberia remained largely consistent for over 6,000 years until the Bronze Age. This period witnessed widespread migrations of steppe pastoralists from the Pontic Caspian steppe, located in present-day Russia and Ukraine across Europe. These horse-riding nomads, known as the Indo-Europeans, extensively mixed with the early European farming populations. This is why the average Spaniard today has 30% of their ancient ancestry from these Indo-Europeans. It was during this time period that we began to see the migration of Celtic groups into Iberia. Before the arrival of the Celts, large communities of Iberian people such as the Tartessians existed in Spain. Genetically, these communities had slightly lower steppe ancestry and higher levels of Western hunter-gatherer admixture. Despite the impact of the Indo-European migrations, these groups preserved their non-Indo-European languages. This is one of the reasons why, for example, the Basques, despite being genetically very similar to other Spaniards, speak a non-Indo-European language. In Iberia, specifically along the eastern coast, there was a significant retention of non-Indo-European heritage up until the Roman expansion. It is important to note that this Celt-Iberian ancestry forms the foundation of Spanish ancestry, with the average Spaniard today showing a striking resemblance to the Iron Age populations that existed in the region. Despite not speaking an Indo-European language, the Basques show the closest similarity to this Celt-Iberian genetic profile. A common misconception is that ancient Spaniards had significant North African ancestry, which was later reduced by the Reconquista. While North African ancestry has always been present in Iberia due to its proximity to North Africa, ancient Spaniards prior to the Reconquista generally had lower levels of North African DNA compared to modern Spaniards. The Moors who ruled Iberia for 800 years had a higher proportion of North African ancestry. Genetic data from the Almohad and Nasrid periods indicate around 30% North African ancestry, much higher than the current average of 5%. This ancestry decreased over time, with the Moriscos, the last remnants of Iberia's Islamic past, resembling modern Canary Islanders, who have about 20% North African ancestry. Although the genetic profile of Iberia was distinct for centuries, the Reconquista led to a reversion to its pre-Islamic genetic profile. Today, North African ancestry in Spain forms a southwestern gradient, being highest in Extremadura, around 12%, followed by Castile and Leon and Galicia, around 10%. The Basques have little to no North African ancestry, making them the closest modern population to Iberia's pre-Islamic past. This video covers topics that might be controversial, but its intent is not to divide or promote nationalism. Genetic ancestry helps us understand human migrations and history, aiding in our comprehension of the past to better prepare for the future.